Hello, it's Sandy from the St. Catharines Public Library with the answer to yesterday's local history quiz. And here it is. The answer to yesterday's local history quiz is the Grand Opera House. Back when St. Catharines was in its early stages of development, citizens would often hold concerts and other theatrical events in the town hall the building we now know as the old courthouse on King Street. They would also hold them in churches and other types of meeting halls as well. As the city's population increased, it was decided that St. Catharines needed a much larger venue for some of these performances. So, in 1877, a theater that seated 1,200 people was built on Ontario Street. The theatre building itself was actually connected to, but situated behind shops and apartments that fronted onto Ontario Street. In order to get into the theatre, you had to enter through large doors on Ontario Street and walk down a long hallway. The new theatre was initially called the Academy of Music, but its name was soon changed to the Grand Opera House. The Opera House had a large entrance lobby, a gas-lit auditorium, red velvet curtains, rows of red covered seats, private boxes, and plenty of gilt paint. Plays, concerts, musical comedies, touring companies, minstrel and later vaudeville shows were booked throughout the year. In 1879, two years after the theatre opened, Professor John H. Hyde became musical director of the Grands House Orchestra, leading them to become one of the area's finest. The orchestra also performed in the Grand Ballroom of the Stevenson House, a hotel and spa located nearby on the northwest corner of Yates and Selina Streets. The Opera House was damaged by fire in 1895 but was restored to its former glory within a year. Sadly, however, another fire in 1926 shut down the theatre for good. The building that used to house the theatre was eventually converted into a bowling alley called Dorado Lanes. But alas, in 1992, another fire struck. This time it was in the building facing Ontario Street. What remained of this building was torn down and replaced with a parking lot. The old Grand Opera House remained standing for six more years until it was torn down in 1998. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check back next Wednesday for another local history quiz. Until then, stay healthy.